Yeah. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? It feels like a piece of sculpture. Hello and welcome back to Oz Home News. I'm your host, Natasha Pruchniewicz, and today we are in Noosa Heads in an exclusive enclave called Little Cove. We've just driven two hours from Brisbane to be here and the anticipation is immense. Right now we have the building designers behind this incredible home inside waiting to show us around. Deborah Glenn, how are you? Hello. Very Hi, nice Natasha. To meet you. So nice lovely to meet you. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Your home is beautifully crafted. It's really exquisite. Thank you so much. We uh, have spent two and a half years creating this, and we've actually fallen in love with it. Oh, it's actually better than expected. When we get to this stage, and it's all dressed, it just comes alive, and uh, we're extremely excited about how it's come up. Coco Privé is Deborah and Glenn Watson's latest development, a four bedroom home listed for auction, capturing everything people love about Noosa. Well, we found this site uh, in Little Cove, which was like winning the lottery because Little Cove is so exclusive and so tightly held. To, so to find vacant land adjoining the National Park, two minutes walk to the stairs at Hastings Street was just extraordinary. Isn't this lovely? This is the open plan living, dining and kitchen. And it is very open. Oh, it is. It really is, isn't it? It just keeps going. You actually start noticing details as you move around, but everything is supposed to feel cohesive and relaxed and be just a wonderful place to live your life. Perched right on the edge of the rainforest, the privacy is unquestionable. You're wrapped around in glass, but no one can see you. All you feel are the outdoors coming in. There's some things we never vary. We just love a pool off the main living area because it's such a Queensland Noosa thing to have. The earthy organic interiors flow effortlessly, echoing that same sense of serenity. One of the main characters in this home is this amazing limestone that we've used on the floors and we've run up the walls um, here and in the bathrooms. It actually has little tiny pieces of coral and fossils and shells in it and it has these soft, soft, soft colours and even though there's a lot of detail in it, it's just very soft. In the kitchen, the oversized island is the centerpiece. Two large pieces of stone appear to hover over a simple yet beautiful base. When I give this to my cabinet makers, they don't love me because it's so difficult to do. Everything's cantilevered, so it's all structurally steel, um, framed out. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? That is incredible this central staircase is made from concrete and connects all three floors it feels like a piece of sculpture that it has a light installation but it's our natural light that's playing against it in the original design we had a standard staircase and deb said i think we should put a spiral staircase in and i knew that was going to be uh, difficult but she was right the master bedroom is upstairs, spilling out onto a glorious sky terrace where real estate agent Chris Miller is gearing up for a busy campaign. It's just recently come on the market. Has your phone been ringing off the book? <laughs> yes, it has. The response to the property in the first few days has been exceptional. Because property here is so tightly held and so rarely comes on the market, it's understandable that the response is so strong. This, like the other designs by Glenn and Deborah Watson, is going to be a Noosa statement property. Everything you see is soft, gentle, comfortable, right down to the last detail. The master has these marble and brass sconces, which I just absolutely love. And then we put these details, we put the brass mirrors on the, the big mirror here just to 
give it a little bit more depth. Deb buys the different pieces over a two year period, stores them and they all come out at once and how she can remember what she's bought and how they complement one another is truly amazing. So now this is the downstairs living room, which opens out onto the rainforest and the gardens. Like every other room in the house, this space started out as nothing more than a blank piece of paper, but years of tweaking has turned it into something special. Even today, there isn't one thing Deborah and Glenn would change. We do have an amazing team and one of their favourite lines to me is, Deb, don't you realise that most people do this? And my favourite line back to them is, well, you see, that's the thing. I just don't do what most people do. Extreme goals requiring extreme effort. It is a total 100% um, investment in our time and energy. So when we come to the end, and it's time to let it go, it is very difficult. That brings us to the end of our tour. We thank you for your company. We'll be back next week with another exciting episode. I'm your host, Natasha Pruchniewicz. You're watching Aus Home News. We'll see you next time.